Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me on the launch pad at the KSC, actually, just because it's useful for this video, uh, um, for a Collaborative Warfare Extra video. Yes, I was thinking about how I've reused many a cargo plane, well, actually, pretty much just once I reused my cargo plane in Collaborative Warfare, and I was wondering, why don't I do that with rockets? So, this is my reusable rocket, yes. It will land propulsively and parachutely. You did see that I dropped my boosters, however they did have parachutes that would open at a safe altitude. So, assuming the load distance was, you know, big enough, those would land safely pretty near the launch pad. And if not, I could just go fetch them, unless they just get deleted by KSP. But I'm hoping that we can kind of omit that as a massively important thing. But anyway, today we're carrying a 27 ton payload into orbit, and you're probably thinking, that's pretty small for that rocket. But you're forgetting that it has to land. Um, you can see at the top there, there's my whole reusable instrument. It says air brakes, drogue shoots, normal shoots, RTGs, probably some other shit, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but anyway, now we're going to deorbit. Put our cell. My periapsis is actually way too far around Kerbin. It should be a little bit less. Um, so I'm going to have to do a pretty serious slowdown maneuver. But you can see I have just a, just a crazy amount of fuel left um, for this. So I'm feeling pretty good. So yeah. Anyway, my idea is that I won't have to keep using air launches for rocket launches. I can just use the same rocket. Um, you're forgetting the SRB thing, I guess. Maybe I'll discuss that with people. But, um, yeah, so anyway, here we are re-entering. And you can see I've come way too far past the KSC. I'm just going to hit, like, the ocean miles away. So at some point, I'll start slowing down, and I'll take a few attempts at this, just because it's quite a difficult thing to do, funnily enough. Um... And yeah, just burning the engines, definitely not enough. Uh, and then I just start burning them like crazy. Since I have so much fuel, I was like, I'll just, I'll just slow down. And I think my air brakes are deployed, which is good. Those are very good for controllability. It's quite nice having all of these instruments if you have engines and air brakes, because then you can really control where you land. Obviously, it's quite hard to actually predict. And my first attempt at this, I come down in the hills just off KSC, which is a little bit... You know, worrying. Anyway, we're into one times time accelerate, so you don't just go totally crazy. I mean, that last bit was all pretty irrelevant. I mean, just the launch. I mean, obviously I got the launch right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, and then the re-entry was just, yeah. It also looks like I'm a little bit south of KSC, which is kind of annoying. I'd ideally like to just land on the launch pad. Um, yeah, I was going to... Well, yeah, this is called the Triton X, by the way. If you ever watch my Solar Civilization series, which was my old, very long-running KSP series where I kept creating Triton rockets that were reusable. I actually made some two-stage reusable rockets, um, but they were so difficult because you had to kind of race to the ground with the, um, with the, with the first stage um, so that you could <laughs> complete the burn with the second stage. It was madness, and it actually drove me a little crazy. But I ended up developing an SLS-style thing that um, basically just dropped the boosters and took the whole main bit into orbit so you can reuse all of it. Uh, and this is mostly a parachute landing. You saw I uh, deployed my drogues and deployed the main chutes because KSP is very forgiving about parachutes and it makes it very easy to land. Um, but yeah, the, it will be finished off with a propulsive landing because I'm still going too fast. And I can throttle the engine and it gives me a little bit of control if I needed to make a slight adjustment. Although with parachutes it does make slight adjustments very difficult and just horrible. But you see I touched down pretty softly on a hill. So I fell over a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a pretty decent landing if it wasn't on a hill. Like if this was a little bit further forward, um, it would be on flat ground. But then I fall to the floor, and most of the rocket survives, but I lose a bit. So just the connector actually, and maybe an air brake. So that's actually pretty good. Anyway, attempt number two. Um, I th think this is just. Tr oh, okay. Sounds coming from speakers. <laughs> Well, well, what's going on here? I think this was just uh, a lot, an earlier slowdown maneuver, so I slowed down earlier and less aggressively, so I have way more fuel and um, have a better targeted landing. Um, I was trying to do a turn with my air brakes because I'm still coming in south, which I'll try and fix in my next little attempt. But uh, yeah, I just go for that anyway. Uh, but it looks like I'm coming down a little too far, so I slow down aggressively. I only need about 200 units of fuel to land, um, so I could take a heavier payload and have less ability to adjust, but I come down just on the beach and actually hit the ocean. But you could see if I was actually, um, if I was actually 
a little north, a little more north towards the KFC, I would have landed almost on the launch pad, which would have been terrible because there's still launch clamps there, but it would have looked cool. Um, it'll be a little harder for me to do this because the KFC 2 is on a, quite far north, so doing this sort of thing might be a little more difficult, but I'll, I'll figure it out or just take the KFC. I mean, just be like, hey, Agonarch, let's get the KFC so I can make my reusable rockets really easy. Um, but yeah, anyway, this doesn't go that well because I get all scared, burn too much, and then land actually pretty well, but it's um, KSP 1.0.4, so this is just a horrible situation, and I start to fall, and I lose only the core of the reusability bit, but still, that's not as good as the last one. Anyway, so I need to be going slightly more north, so I shall burn slightly more north. Um, here, this is my slowdown maneuver again, but slightly burning north so that I'm more in line with the KSC and hopefully have more grass to land on and less ocean, and hopefully not hails. It is quite hard to predict this sort of thing, so I do quite like to just kind of put myself in roughly the right position, and it's way better to overshoot than undershoot. You can see there's actually a probe near the mountains. That was my first attempt, um, and I, <laughs> the first time I tried this, I nailed it, just not anywhere near the KSC. I just like flew up and landed it, and it was goddamn fantastic, but it, I wanted to get really close to the KSC so that I could actually reuse it, because that's the rules. If it's just in the wasteland, then I'd have to send in like a gigantic helicopter, and that'd make a great video. Anyway, I'm just going to cut through the kind of falling, because you know that this time. Um, this also goes a bit more towards the water, but you can see I'm way more north, which is good. I'm way more in line with the KSC, but I didn't slow down enough and kind of hit the ocean. I thrust limit the engine because it's very powerful and it's just nice to be able to do that. And I kind of screw things up and almost lose all my fuel, but then touch down pretty softly. And then fall pretty hard, but actually pretty good. The whole rocket survives. That's reused, but I think because it's in the water, I probably wouldn't count that myself as something I could reuse in collaborative warfare. Anyway, final attempt. Um, I should probably stop clapping when I'm excited because people with headphones are like, Peter, I hate you. Anyway, so I've done the same sort of maneuver, burn slightly more north, slow down a little bit, and yeah, you can see the probe down there again. Woo! That's just a full rocket I should probably go and fetch. Um, maybe I'll do a video on recovering it with a helicopter. Uh, like a massive helicopter, like a Titan helicopter. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm coming in here, I'm slowing down quite aggressively because I was very, just had no idea exactly where I was going. But it looks like I'm coming down on the grassland and the shoots are deployed and the other shoots are deployed and the legs are out. Those are 130% scaled up normal landing legs. I use tweak scale to scale them up by about 30%. And uh, yeah, they're pretty good and I've locked the suspension because you don't want it flexing. Like yes, the suspension is good for landing like craft it's supposed to do, but this is a very heavy payload. It's very tall. You don't want it flexing and falling over because it's about as tall as a skyscraper. Um, that's not entirely true, but I mean the Falcon 9 first stage is I think about as, as tall as a 16 story building and they land that vertically. But anyway, my engines are on and I am coming down rather gently, rather beautifully, rather serenely, and boom, I'm down. I landed, reused, could easily recover that, put a new payload on it and launch it again without having to spend another air launch, depending on how people feel about the solid rocket boosters. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.